I am Lionel, this is Tech Loader, and remember if I use it, I'll review it. So this is my review for the Raven Scanner Pro and this couldn't have come at a much better time because with everyone working from home, going paperless is more important than ever. I've already done two videos on the Raven Original Scanner, so if you want to watch those, I'll leave links in the description below. And when it comes to scanners, it's not just about getting any scanner, it's really great to have a scanner that recognises text, so when you're searching through your documents, you don't actually have to open each document you can just search in your finder and it'll come up with whatever text relates to each document so it's really helpful in this video what i'm going to be covering is the unboxing the setup and the review feel free to skip to whatever point is relevant to you so firstly one thing i genuinely have to praise raven for is their packaging it's so helpful and you can rest assured that if you're ordering this overseas no matter how far it is it's going to be safe and i'm really glad that they don't have that annoying styrofoam that gets everywhere so that's really good but my first impression when i'm starting to take this apart is that i can already see that there's a little bit of a difference when it comes to the build quality even the feeder it just feels a little bit different but i thought maybe that's all in my head so let's proceed to the cables if you're ordering in the uk you might have to make sure that you have a kettle plug because it comes with a us plug i already have all the adapters and the relevant extension plugs anyway so it didn't really affect me the other thing that you can see is it comes with a cable that allows you to connect straight to your router but this is a wi-fi scanner so i wouldn't really do it i don't really see a point one of the biggest benefits is that i don't have to connect this to anything else i don't have to worry about it being next to my computer or anything else so i don't know why i would really tie myself down by connecting this using an ethernet cable it's not worth it and then when you actually lift this up to take it apart you can feel the difference you can feel the difference in the weight between this and the raven original scanner i can already tell that they've put a little bit more into the build quality of this it's nowhere as heavy as the traditional home printers that you would have but you can really feel the difference in the weight setting this up is such a doddle you don't have to worry about clipping things together it's just really easy to set everything up it's a really painless process so now that we're done with the unboxing now we can get into setting up the scanner all you need to do is power it on and it powers on very quickly once it's powered on, the first message that you'll get is something prompting you to select a Wi-Fi network. Select your network, enter your password. So the next thing it'll ask you to do is download some updates. After you download some updates, it'll install, but stay near the scanner because it's a very quick process. The entire process of setting this up is less than 10 minutes. Once the scanner's done installing the latest updates, it'll ask you to install new drivers. Just select OK, install the new drivers, and you're good to go. Next thing you'll see is that you need to sign up to an account. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking this is going to be a long process, but it really isn't. Because of the touchscreen quality on the Raven scanner, it makes it very easy to set up an account and log in straight away. As soon as you log into your account, you can start using your scanner. Now here you can see all the different options depending on the type of documents that you're scanning and that makes it really convenient. The other option that you have is whether to use color or grayscale. I always scan in color but it's a little bit silly because the file size is bigger. You could just save a lot of space but it only really matters if you're scanning tons and tons of documents. And one of the things I like the most is it also allows you to scan up to 600 dpi. That means that you can actually scan legal documents into this and it will be recognized. It kind of reassures you that the documents you're scanning will be useful for every application in the future but there's a lot of auto adjustments in this so it makes sure that your scan comes out the right way so this is where i was really surprised and i saw the difference between the raven original scanner and the raven scanner pro the speed is insane the fact that it's so fast and there are no tray jams for something so compact and it just fits so easily into a small office space it's a really powerful scanner i think i had a double-sided document 36 pages and when it comes to your scanning destination you have the option to be so flexible you can scan into pretty much any cloud-based storage spaces directly from the scanner which is fantastic you don't have to connect it to your computer then something else do it all from the scanner connect your accounts and you're good to go you also have the option to use raven cloud which is absolutely free and you have unlimited space there when it comes to scanning your documents so you can make use of that you can even just use it as a backup but for me what i like to do is just scan everything into my emails and as you can see you can highlight the documents you can just make use of it it comes through pretty quickly and you don't have to spend tons of time waiting so to conclude the raven scanner pro it's still compact there's a big step up when it comes to speed and power from my experience so far it doesn't jam at all the one thing i will say is make sure that when you're scanning you figured out the right system for making sure that it feeds out properly so thank you very much for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did find it helpful remember to like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comment section below.